Yo, yo, this your boy Kenny. Can you watch my homegirl Miss Ice Cube? Alumni back gang. Welcome to another edition of Aggie Spotlight, brought to you by WNAA, and I'm joined by none other than LA's own Kid Ink. Okay, before we get started, happy belated. Thank you, thank you. Now, your birthday is April 1st, so I know your friends have a field day of pranks just waiting for you. Now, see, the thing is, so this year they got missed. And because we missed the actual day, April 1st, I had ended up going out on the road. We celebrated my birthday the day before, and then I went out on the road the next day and it left everybody. They didn't get to prank me. So we started the pranks just all month. So we've been going hard for the past 20 days, and it's yes. just been in and out just on the road. They get here tomorrow, and it starts okay. back in. We have to know what the best one is. Well, what, what's the best one um, that got, got good? The best one? Well, they have, see, the problem is they're scared to get me. I think they play pranks on each other, and they think that I'm going to get mad. But I still get to play, you know what I'm saying, the big pranks too. I think we've been stealing bags from baggage claim lately, making them think they're missing. You go all the way to the thing and yell at everybody. Uh, some people have been sneaking dog food and some people's food. It's, it's being pretty extreme. Okay, it's, it's serious. Yeah, we don't, yeah, it's, not, really it's not a game. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's a goal if you want it to be. I don't think that it's necessarily has to be everyone's goal or everyone's success. But for me, I never, I, you know, music com comes first. And if you want to take it to that next level and be those greats, it's really the next step you have to take after, you know, I feel like being successful independently and not wanting to do the same thing over and over again. And just aside from that, just wanting to be, you know, up there with those top people and work with those top artists and have them respect you too. It's, that major cosign definitely helps. Now that you're signed, what's your biggest fear in the industry? Um, well, my biggest fear in the industry is just was what well, was just the fans not understanding. I feel like I had started such a, a core fan base that wanted me to strive and stay independent and just even just the new fans asked still, why did you sign or why did you do this? And that was really a big fear of mine, but I feel like, you know, the deal I signed is gonna it's Definitely open enough to be creative to where I'm going to be able to prove to everybody that nothing's really changed from the independent thing except for the music growth. Okay. Well, I want to play a quick little game with you. It's called Kiss It or Diss It so that the ladies can get a feel for what type of, you know, woman you're into. Okay, I'm going to say some names and you just say Kiss It or Diss It if you're not interested. Okay. Kerry Washington. Kiss It. Kiss it. We were just talking about Kerry Yeah, all right. Yeah, we were just talking about her okay, earlier. Shout out to you. <laughs> um, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> the, the, the of age Miley the Cyrus. Old, okay, yeah. New Miley? Yeah, with the, the twerking Miley? Okay, that okay. Miley. Kiss it. Why okay. not? Catch it. <laughs> no, kiss it. <laughs> not no. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. How about Sierra? New Sierra body party. Uh, yeah, shout out to you. Just, you know, um, Sierra, kiss it. Okay. Okay, well, we see, we see where you're going with that. Now, um, you're tatted up. That's yes. easy to see. And when I found out, I went and got me a little ink. Ooh, ooh. No. Out there, that was painful. I'm you up with my tattoo artist. I need so that. You can get something official I need like to get. This, yep. You know? okay. I forgot the stick. I didn't get the stick guy yet. <laughs> I got some room. That's probably the only room I can get is to get in the stick figure right. somewhere. Right. Because you look, you're running out of space. It's getting crazy. What's your favorite tattoo? Um, my favorite tattoo, I say a lot, is this x-ray, excuse my ashiness, this x-ray, hand, bone, skull, like it's the artsy, you know, it's the yeah, cool tattoo more right. than anything, if y'all can see from all the way over there, but I got a lot of, you know, cool pieces that I really like, but that was not really the most meaningful tattoo, but just my coolest tattoo, I feel okay. like. This is a personal question I wanted to ask you, because I'm following you on Instagram, yeah. and a lot of people post pictures of their shoes, pictures of their hats, their outfits for the day, I see a lot of pictures of socks. Oh, yeah. What's the movement with the socks? Well, I mean, that's just coming from L.A. and just that was the really the high school look was basketball shorts, long socks and basketball shoes. And I watched, you know, it. I, I mean, I went back towards it myself when it, and it just went from, you know, where the basketball shorts and the regular shorts. And then I noticed just brands just start coming out with really cool socks and it just got me back on the wave. And I've just been going crazy with it lately. I definitely have been on my sock game for a while, though. A lot of people just hopping on. <laughs> and your sound effect. Yeah. Uh. Yes, that. <laughs> where did that come from? Uh, that was a moment. It was just a, it was an energy where I was in the studio recording 
and I was just having a lot of fun. I might have been a little tipsy, and it just came. Like, I, I, it was something I said in the verse that I was feeling. I was feeling myself so much at the time that I just paused and was like, duh, 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 duh. Ugh. and then everybody was like, yo, what was that? And I was like, I don't know. It's just, you know, a natural ad lib. And it's funny because that's something I actually just do on a natural, like, ooh. Just when something happens, like, oh, so it was just, you know, it just came with the, it was just all organic, yeah. Okay, well, I didn't learn some things today. That's yeah, good. Yeah, I enjoyed you. having you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, this has been an edition of Aggie Spotlight brought to you by WNAA. So thank you guys, and until next time. Yo, all of these fake rappers. I'll tell you what's good.